Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about July 10th, uh, League of Legends DFS Lite. Um, we had a decent um, morning this morning um, from the betting standpoint. Uh, from the daily fantasy standpoint, we did okay. Um, here is the Patreon post that I posted last night um, for this morning's LCK LPL prop bets and match predictions. Um, as you see for the match predictions, I got three out of five right, um, just based on the you know straight up winner. Um, BLG almost did it with the new jungler and Foho back in the mid, uh, mid lane. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunately, uh, S of FM for Weibo Gaming um, played Vihego, his favorite champion, and carried that team. And he actually scored over the 4.5 kill threshold that I thought he would go under based on that, um, based on his recent form. But I just cannot believe BLG let them have Viego. I understand Viego got nerfed as part of the new patch, but, you know, it is what it is. And RNG just didn't show up. I posted it on my tweet this morning, but, you know, top esports look scary at times. Um, sometimes they look like the best team in the LPL, or if not in the world. Um, they have the tremendous upside in terms of uh, their skill level and their team synergy at times. Um, but then, you know, at, sometimes they just look really bad. <laughs> I mean, TES, um, but showed up yesterday against RNG. And RNG still has a lot of work to do, in my opinion, from my eye test. So we'll see what happens there. But that naturally translated into Gala not hitting his seven kill threshold for the first two games in the series. Um, but yeah, so... Um, We'll see what happens. I mean, overall, this was pretty good. You know, we still came out on top. Um, but in terms of uh, the prop bets and match predictions, I will post them here tonight at probably by 11 p.m. Eastern time, um, which will probably be like the, the time that I will post um, the prop bets. I'll try to post them earlier if I can, um, but sometimes it takes me a little while to analyze these uh, the, sl uh, the slates and and the players and the over under kills thresholds and everything. So, and I'm sure you guys want more quality um, and um, based, you know, merit based, data based um, predictions and, you know, betting suggestions. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll try to come out with them earlier than 11 o'clock, but 11 o'clock Eastern time is probably going to be the cutoff. So if you are interested, in playing prize picks or, or, you know, any other sports books bets, uh, let me know. And, you know, it, it's, it's going to be at patreon.com slash DFS underscore Chan. Um, feel free to come check it out. Um, you can always cancel it at any, any time, um, but it's $30 a month. It's $1 every day, basically for daily content. So I think it's a great deal. Um, but otherwise, yeah, let's dive into um, today's slate for DFS purposes. <sighs> Um, two close matchups again in, in China and in the LPL, uh, Thunder Talk versus IG and then EDG versus V5. Vegas odds wise, which I agree with, um, V5 is the, as the favorite in that matchup against EDG and then Invictus Gaming is the favorite against, uh, Thunder Talk. So let's talk about the starters here today for Thunder Talk. Um, Hoya is starting in the top lane again, uh, the Korean import and then Beichuan at jungle, which I like him. Yukal, I like him a lot as well in the mid lane. Um, and Kepler and Yao Yao are starting in the AD carry and support position. Kepler is starting again because I think Puff um, Puff is injured. Uh, Puff used to play for um, IG, as you know. Um, so it would have been a good revenge game or, you know, against former team game, but Kepler and Yao Yao actually pre played pretty well. I mean, well, probably re like really well, actually, compared to what their expectations were um, over, I believe they beat BLG. So this is an impressive lineup, I think. Um, I mean, not impressive, but I, th I think it's the best lineup they could put out right now, just based on each player's form right now. I mean, just based on the fact that they beat BLG in the series two to one, with this lineup, I think they have to continue <laughs> with this lineup. 
and they're going up against IG, um, which, you know, like I said, I always say about IG, but um, the bottom lane experiment um, on is starting at 80 carry. And he has done that in one series, the split, um, and he looked okay. And then Wink is transitioning to, you know, playing support for on. And th these two have, have started before together in that one game that on um, played in as an AD carry. I think he played a Philios uh, one game and then I forgot what he played in the other game, but in that series, but um, they were not impressive. Um, they lost that series. And I think the bottom lane struggles will continue um, for IG. Um, and I wanted to kind of show you what I have gathered here research wise. Um, First of all, the kill upside between these two teams is good. It's at 0.78. Um, IG plays fast. Thundertalk plays a little bit slower. But overall, the kill upside is good. Um, overall, the metrics are very similar to one another. Um, but, you know, one thing that stands out is the common opponent on, in BLG, and which are both pretty recent, um, which is, it helps, the you know, with the validity of the sample size, right? Because um, if somehow IG played BLG recently and then TT played BLG like five weeks ago. I mean, that's, you know, it's really not a fair representation, I think, and because in League of Legends, especially in esports competitions, um, you know, timing matters, form really matters. I think, you know, these teams or players form just constantly fluctuates throughout the split, even like from this week to next week. Um, so I do think it's a very important common opponent analysis here against BLG and Thunder Talk has beat them. Um, so I, I do think um, just having them watching them last series against BLG and they look pretty good, like in the bottom lane. And I feel like IG's weak, the biggest weakness for IG is in the bottom lane. Um, I think Kepler and Yao Yao can, <laughs> as surprising as that sounds, because these guys are kind of new. I know Kepler used to play for Victory 5 and all that, but um, I, I do think they can really exploit On and Wink. Or maybe it's that On and Wink um, going up against Kepler and Yao Yao. It's, it's, not that, it's not that bad of a matchup. So maybe IG will kind of mitigate the weakness in the bottom lane going up against the new Kepler Yao Yao duo and Thunder Talk, maybe IG will come through. So I, th I do think it's a coin flip. Um, but for prediction wise, I do think Beichuan, his aggressive tendencies as a jungler will match up well against June. June is obviously better than Beichuan, I think, in my opinion. But um, and then Zika is better than Hoya. But I think Hoya, like, I, he understands how to play safe. Um, I think so. I don't think he will let Zika. Snowball, and I actually like Yukal over Yukai. Um, so I do think it's, like I said, it's a coin flip, but um, I do think just based on the recent form that I saw out of Kepler and Yao Yao against BLG, I'm gonna go with Thunder Talk winning this matchup um, two to one, but I do think it's more of a coin flip. And obviously Invictus Gaming stack is viable as well. All right, let's look at the other um, LPL matchup in EDG versus Victory 5. As you guys know, Victory 5 is undefeated. They haven't lost, um, and they're starting Karsa at jungle over XLB. Um, and Rookie is starting again in the mid lane over Dream um, after coming back. And then EDG is starting the regular five. Um, I do think at some point having them sub out um, Karsa and XLB um, back and forth, it's going to mess with them a little bit. Um, and I think Rookie is going to start, keep starting over Dream, but I think Dream should find another job in another LPL team because he was really good anyway. Um, but yeah, Victory 5 is undefeated. Rich has been very solid in the top lane, but the true gems, I think, for Victory 5 have been Fotik and PP Got. They looked really solid. Um, and I think that's going to be a trouble against EDG because EDG's strength, in my opinion, is in the bottom lane as well over, uh, against Viper and Mako. Um, so I do think Victory 5 has a pretty good um, solution against that. Um, going up against Viper and Mako, I think Votic and PP God will do okay, um, just fine. I think they'll do just fine. And then Karsa and JJ. JJ has been kind of out of form as well. Um, so, and I think Karsa subbing in 
will mess up uh, V5 a little bit. But since JJ has been out of form, I think I'm not too worried about that. Like I said, Rich has been in solid, solid form as well. And then rookie against Scout. I think I'll have to favor rookie in this matchup, even though rookie has only played like two series so far. Um, but just the metrics as well, I think jungle control percentage, I saw victory five, it has a 4.5% advantage. Um, I do think victory five um, is a good skirmish team. I do think J uh, EDG's losses so far against OMG and JDG have come because of the team fighting, uh, um, the lack of skills and or the lack of synergy, I guess, in team fighting. Um, I know JDG and o OMG, they both like to fight and start initiate team fights. And I do think EDG sometimes can struggle against that, especially in the early game. And I do think Victory 5, um, you know, likes to initiate fights as well. I mean, they like to, they are pretty bloody, you know, just based on the CKPM number here, combined kills per minute, they're at 0.87. That tells me that, you know, they are, great team fighting team. They like to fight. They like to get kills early game and snowball from there, take an early game advantage uh, for victory five. So I do think that kind of translates similarly with JDG and OMG losses against EDG. So I do think even victory five um, should win the series, but I, I'm willing to give maybe one game to EDGs because EDG can definitely pull this off as well. Um, I, th I do think EDG is viable, but not as viable as IG in that other matchup. Um, because, because of Victory 5's tendencies, like I said, that are similar to OMG and JDG that have given EDG some trouble. In the LCK, it's more simple, much more simpler, <laughs> much more simple. Uh, Gen G should win over DRX, I think. Gen G coming off of a loss against T1. I think Gen G is pissed off and they are going to uh, take this game very, very seriously after losing that game against T1. And um, now that T1 and Gen.G are tied at the top of the summer split standings, I think Gen.G will have to take the game very seriously and bounce back um, using this game. And I do think for that reason, I like that kill upside for Gen.G. You know, when a team like, you know, like that um, comes off of a loss against an elite team or bad loss or something like that, they try to use the next game as a bounce back uh, mechanism. So I do think um, DRX is not, in a good position to beat Genji here today. Um, and all the metrics point out, point uh, toward Genji's uh, win prediction as well. And T1 against Brian. Freddy Brian is the worst team, has been the worst team in the summer split. And T1 has been the best team, one of the best teams rather in the LCK. Um, but the kill, kill upside is very, very low. I mean, <laughs> Freddy Brian averages only 0.5 kill per minute. Um, T1 averages a little bit higher at 0.67, but um, I do think T1 should win 2-0 two to, two to zero, um, pretty handedly, um, but the kill upside is very low. Um, and then, yeah, so yeah, I mean, those are all my predictions. I will share them in more detail on my Patreon post that I will post in here in the next 15 minutes. And I have some good prop bets today, and I got some feedback from some of the uh, subscribers um or patrons um that um they want me to prioritize like what my favorite prop bets are so that they know like which one to kind of prioritize when they're making these prop bets so i will do that um if you guys have any other questions or suggestions for my video or for dfs or for uh prop bets or anything like that please let me know um, i'm happy to uh you know listen to you guys and make improvements um for these um otherwise Good luck out there. Um, please uh, hit the like button or subscribe to our channel. Thank you, everybody. Good luck out there. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Thanks.